Oh, Hawk, a gift from the Angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the Prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the way. Use it wisely. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. Why is this stoat like, like a square? It's kind of weird. What, what is happening to stoat? Wait, what am I supposed to do? Wait, what is that? I have new things already. Oh, so I only have these cards right now in my deck. Okay. Now you may choose. Instead of you must decide on a tribe that you prefer. What? Elk? I don't know what that is. Bird. I'm gonna go with the thing I don't know what it is. Cockroach. Ran oh, it's an in in insect. A randomly chosen insect card. Did you wish for something else? No, I, got, I like the cockroach. Especially if I can sacrifice it for other things. And I have to cut. What do I have to cut? An Asian woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid an intricate wood carvings, then gestured, gestured at them brusquely. Choose. Oh, do I get to use my own sigils? I'm gonna grab this one, it's so broken. Like if I can make all of my cards do that. The old woman buried her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The bifurcated strike sigil will now be marked upon all of your squirrel creatures. Wait, really? Odd. So, that doesn't help because all of my squirrels don't attack anyways. I didn't know what that, that was, what that means. God damn it. Elk. Flight and shoot. Okay. Shoot a flight. Squirrel. Bifurcated squirrel. <laughs> it's me. Yes, I can see. So... Um, whenever we are having a, a one of those, like, I, or I can choose to, to use that. I don't know what that means. Because my squirrel is not going to attack anyways. Um, pronghorn. It attacks bifurcated and it moves. So I need to... Since it attacks bifurcated, it doesn't attack in the way, so I can use my stove to attack it. It's going to do two damage, and then it's going to move. Okay. Um, another squirrel. And then I'm gonna put the bullfrog in the way. It doesn't have any more cards. That's a pretty powerful card. A card that attack and then moves. Okay, and I take one damage too, and then it moves again. Um, I could just go with the wolf and kill it for... Maybe it doesn't help now, but maybe your squirrels get stronger later. I'm not sure. It might be. Um, I'm just gonna stay with the squirrel because I do more damage than they do right now and it's not gonna kill my bullfrog and then I can use another squirrel set them down and then just do enough damage to probably win right maybe I get different heads maybe I can like that's a head for, for a squirrel or and maybe I get like different heads to put on the totem and then I can choose a different body because, I don't know, if squirrels drop more, um, like, thingies. What is the name of the thing? Um, bones? When I kill them, it would be pretty good. It would make sense if they get stronger later, too. If I can, like, power up the squirrel, that would be pretty powerful. Uh, okay, so I have to choose wolf, insect, or elk. I want cubs. Wolf, okay. Wolf is okay. And then I have to cut again. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Oh, that's what I mean. I, I can probably choose now. I can choose, like, they're gonna move. Or I can choose different heads. Okay, so this is the thing now. Um, that's the one that, that I have, right? So if I probably choose the head of the wolf... I can put the head of the wolf on the thing. 
And now, every time my wolves are gonna be forcated. Nice. That's far. Yeah, that's what I wanted. The old woman collected her, her pieces and shuffled into the darkness. Yeah, it's what I, I thought. You get different heads. Okay, let's see. Um, well, now my wolves have bifurcated attacks. It's so powerful. Um, if I could find a sacrificial thing. Uh, I need an emergency squirrel right away, probably. Because that's four damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I think I can win in one turn if, with my emergency squirrel. Because if I do this and then I sacrifice both of them for the squirrel, I'm gonna do six damage instantly. And there we go, I win. That's powerful. If you get unlimited sacks for a squirrel, you just win. <laughs> that sounds fun. Well, welcome back, Succubus, by the way. Um, is the person well? The person that you took to the hospital? The venerable alpha. Its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. The, sadidis, the sadistic pronghorn. Woe be to those that meet at the end of this antlers. Oh. Okay, I want that one. That's pretty powerful. And if I can sacrifice it, it's gonna be so good. Speaking of which, let's go. I'm gonna sacrifice it right away for a better card. For the wolf? Yeah, they sprained their ankle. We're heading there now. Oh, we're still going. <laughs> Um, I want it on a f uh, cheaper card because that's two if I put it on the bullfrog for example Yeah, I, I in the stone. Let's buff the stone. Why is the stone weird? It's kind of <laughs> rectangular I hope they get better they get better soon, bro. I'm sorry. They had to go through that <clears throat> Okay, sigil of pushing or aside things I do have my sigil of wolfness. Okay, cockroach. Um, what do we have here? Sparrow and another sparrow. I'm gonna set down the squirrel to tank the damage and the stink bug when I, whenever I can. Oh yeah, they fly, so that that's not how they work. Um, but I can grab another squirrel, set it down, and then sacrifice both of them with my thing. And now I can murder both of this, these sparrows with one attack. There we go, that's pretty good. These to totems are probably gonna change the whole way the game works, and that's fun. Um, I need more squirrels to sacrifice for things. I can put my stank bug now. Um, I do have a squirrel if I want to. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. Okay, let's go. And that's it already. A well-placed wolf and you win. Yeah. This is so powerful already. Um, I can talk to her already. I, I like my sigil, so I'm just gonna go to the other way. I could go to the trapper, but I want another card. The omnipresent mole. It burrows and emerges to block any landborn attacker. The stalwart. No, I want the flargon. Cause it's my new card. It's pretty good. By the way, Succubus, I found another card in the way that had a name, but it wasn't a card that I made. Are these cards like made by other players, and they just get like passed around to each other? Um. Which cards can receive power? If the cockroach came back to my hand, it's, it already comes back to my hand, but it costs too much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to kill Flargan. They randomly generated, I see. I'm gonna give the power of the stink bug to, to Flargan. I'm sorry, stink bug. Stink bug, you're great, but now you're leaving inside Flargan. And the prospector it is. 
Okay, hopefully we don't get pounded by the prospector. Smoke. A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Yeah! Stand in the way of stand in the way of me gold? Be darned! Squirrel, cockroach, flargon, and bullfrog. Flargon. <laughs> Um, coyote coming up. So I can already set down Flargon against the coyote. But if I set down Flargon, I mean, he's not gonna be strong now. I can set the smoke down first and let the, the coyote attack it. And then I'm gonna set down Flargon to attack the mule eventually. Oh, I have to sacrifice it. Right. There we go. And I do a little bit of damage already. Because it's going to be turned into gold. I'm pretty sure about that. The coyote is going to give me the bones. I'm going to attack the mule once. Uh, what do I want? I, I just now want to, to wait. So I'm going to set down the squirrel. Uh, no, the bullfrog is going to kill the thing. So I just want to do that. I don't want to do anything else. Just wait. Attack the mule. I get bones for it. Um, let me grab more cards. Wolf, nice. Um, and now I can set down the cockroach to, to attack him. And, and cockroach is gonna come back to my hand. Anyways, now the mule gives me the cards. Beehive magpie. That's pretty fun. My mule and our back. <laughs> okay, wolf is gonna attack whatever. And there's another wolf coming. You got another wolf coming, coming. <laughs> Prospector boss, again. Yes. Okay, so Stoat, you're gonna be in my hand for now. And Wolf is gonna be in my hand. Do I have two squirrels? Um, I have a rattler. I need squirrels. Okay, I need to draw a squirrel next turn. I think this is enough to kill, right? No, it's not enough to kill. Wolf is gonna kill my thing. I get the bone. Um, yeah. It, it should be scary, but I, I think I can win with just this turn, right? Plargan is in on my hand again. I can sacrifice... Yeah, I can sacrifice the cockroach for the, the, to summon Plargan. And just win on this turn. And then Flarder, Flargan is gonna turn into gold. And I can check if he's gonna come back to my hand if he gets turned into gold. There is gold in them cards. Okay, so he does come back to my hand. Okay, I see. Gold, I've struck gold. And now we have a wolf. Okay, uh, now that that's dead, I can, oh yeah, I need to win. Um, I can draw whatever card. I can literally win right now by um, setting down a squirrel. Okay, set down a squirrel. And another squirrel. Then I set down the wolf. Okay, now my wolf is gonna attack. And then I have enough bones to set a rattler, right? If I want. I can set down a cockroach to tank the damage from the wolf. And then I can set down Flargan. I'm gonna sacrifice the cockroach to set down Flargan. It's gonna lower the damage. I still have more things. I could set down the stoat if I want to. I can set down the, the thing and then put down the beehive. So I get more bees in case this is not enough. Oh yeah, I have to put down the thing. Okay. This is good. Great cards already. And he has a bloodhound now. Get him! Uh, and then I get a squirrel. A squirrel. And then now I can just put down the stoat and be happy with my overpowered damage winning. <laughs> this spot? Yeah, it's literally the only spot. Stop whining. That's so good. The extra damage too. There we go. Prospector is not that hard anymore. Your lives are restored. Thank you. See you later.
Kisses, luches, doodles. Choose carefully. I will. Back rat. Mantis God. The holy Mantis God. A perfect incarnation of terror. I want this card just to sack it. Because it, it, it attacks everyone. That's so powerful. I mean, it does only one damage. But if I can kill it, if I can sacrifice it to, to the wolves, then let's go. Hmm. Oh, yes, I know. The wetlands. The air grew humid. Your boots became harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. You have reached the wetlands. I like how descriptive everything is. Um, okay, fire... I, sacrifice. I want to go to sacrifice. So here I can choose anything except that bath. That bath is not it. I don't know what this is, but I need to go this way. Um, I do have items. Campfire, let's buff everyone. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. Would you, would Mantis... W wow, Willif, dropping the, the ideas. Would Mantis God in Portuguese be Deus Lova Deus? I think it would be Lova Deus Deus. Deus Lova Deus works too. For anyone who doesn't um, speak Portuguese, um, in Portuguese, uh, Mantis, praying Mantis, is Lova Deus. It would be literally translating um, a god... Um, uh, what is the word for like being a, an adorer? An adorer of God. It literally means that, an adorer of God, someone who adores God. So, in Portuguese, a praying mantis god would be like an adorer of god god. It's pretty, it's pretty whack. Not, our language is weird. It spoke. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours. In a raspy voice. Okay. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours. Okay. What is your trials? Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success, your success or failure. It spoke again. But first, you will choose a trial. Trial of Wisdom. The, the three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The Trial of Power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. The Trial of Bones. Three drawn cards must pass. Yeah, I think power. Let the Trial of Power begin. God Worshipper. There we go, Willow. Good luck. Shit! One from the stoat, one from the cockroach, and one from the mantis god. I mean, they would literally do more damage because the, the stoat can attack twice and the mantis god can attack thrice. Fuck you, man. Nobody loves you anyway. Let's go. Oh, two health. Okay. Um, the stoat with more health would be fun. Flargan with more health would be fun. Oh no, what happened? Oh yeah, the, you mean the, the failure. It happens though, it's fine. Flargan is gonna get more health. Let's go, Flargan. The health of Flargan was enhanced by the warmth. Uh, now we fight. Okay, so basically I have the sigil of the wolf and he has the sigil of the insect. So everyone is gonna block the way. The wolf. My wolf is powerful too, though. <laughs> Lucky draw. Okay. Uh, worker ant and a ring worm. Ugh. It seemed like a safe bet. Yeah, I agree. Uh, borrower. When an empty space would be struck by... Oh, no. That's the thing. Ring worm. It's just a ring worm. Ugh, gross. Ring worms are not insects, though. The fuck? Spreading your misinformation. Okay. Um, stoat. Uh, I'm gonna put the stone here because it's gonna attack and then it's gonna move. Yes, I'm sure. And then it's gonna move here. Uh, away from the end. And then it's gonna attack both of them. Oh, jeez, that's problematic. I need to finish this soon. Um, I need squirrels. Yeah, I need squirrels. I'm not gonna sacrifice it now. Wait a second. Uh, I can finish the game right now. 
I'm sorry, Stoat. I love you, but I can't finish the game right now because of my overpowered wolf. Oh, it tanks the damage, though. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mango carps of the victim. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Lucky for you. Okay, so it's gonna kill that too. Oh, okay, so it still worked out for me. Um, I don't need anything else. I can just set down the squirrel. And with the squirrel, I can put down the bullfrog just for the memes. Um, the skink is not gonna um, enter in the way because it's not an insect. So I just deal the damage and win. Nice. That's pretty fun. The, the totem mechanic is pretty fun. Okay, now I need to go this way because I need to go to the sacrifice room and give the power of the brain god mantis, god mantis of the gods and things. Is that a dragon or is that a, uh, that a beast? Oh, that's a snack. Rattler. Mm, maybe the elks would be good too. Okay, um, where's brain god mantis? Mantis god, there we go. Mantis god. And I'm gonna give it to the... To the wolf or the bullfrog yeah the bull, bullfrog would be good to the bullfrog cockroach rattler oh this is a hard choice what is the cost of the the mantis god is one right so i can have more health on it or I can have a, a Mantis God that just comes back to my hand every time it dies. It does cost... It does cost for um, gold, but now I can just buff it. Or gold, not gold, um, bones. But I'm gonna sacrifice a lot of things anyways. Squirrel, cockroach, and wolf. Bullfrog. Bullfrog. Um, I, I am in dire need of getting more items. I do have the hook. Okay, squirrel. Um, kingfish, bullfrog. Um, okay, so I'm gonna set down my bullfrog first. And we can be happy. Okay, I did take two damage back. And now they're sleeping. They know when you're asleep and you're awake. I think this is winning. Is this winning? Yeah, I think this is winning. Because I sacrificed both of them and then I set the wolf here and then it attacks twice and then it's six damage. Oh no, it's not winning yet because it tipped once. Never mind. Never mind. I'm silly. I'm silly. Okay, the trial again or the book? I want to see what the book does because I know what the trial does. Show me your exquisite pelts. Oh, she's the, the trader. I don't have any pelts. You have none. Do you understand how this disappointing that is? I must give you this. Use that to buy some pelts. Do not return it pity handed again. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were the thing that you were. Okay, now I should buff my cockroach if I can. Yeah, the power of the cockroach. Where's the cock? Or I could do the, the stoat because the stoat yeah the stoat I'm not even gonna question because the stoat already attacks twice I don't need the cockroach to attack thrice to do uh, more damage they had enhanced power okay um, there's whatever that is I want to see what that is I could grab another wolf if I want to even my cubs my wolf cubs do the thing that is the case that this is interesting okay I'm, I'm gonna start with flargan yeah i'm gonna start with flargan because the stump is on the way of my win uh i don't like his hand every time he puts his hand i get chills no not stoat um flargan because flargan does have good stats it's three and four and the frog has no hp at all or no damage at all because I stink. Oh man, Flarger is a stinky boy. I'm sorry for that, Flargan. And I killed the the ad adder at behind. Oh, the alpha is making the bullfrog stronger. I see. Um, 
I can set down the squirrel and, and just... Yeah, the stoat in the corner would not be good. So this is the best spot for the for the stoat. So I'm just gonna go wolf. Still. Uh, I need the stun, stump to die. So I'm just gonna set the bullfrog. Yeah, I'm just gonna set the... Because mm, the wolf doesn't attack in front now. I just need two more turns. Yeah, I don't need to do anything. I have enough damage. And the rattler is not gonna kill my wait, why is my stinkiness not affecting the, the rattler? Is the does the rattler not have nose? Um okay. And same idea. Just kill the rattler, kill the rattler behind. And the alpha keeps buffing them, but... Okay, now I can do the thing. Um, sure. Now I can just grab another squirrel. And just set down the stoat on a good spot. I think that's that might be enough, because it's already enough damage. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I have so many teeth. So many toothsies. I want to know what the mushroom is, so I'm gonna go mushroom. Um, Adapt Kingfisher, Slippery Wet Hunter, ugh. Rattler and the other. It's a flying borrower. That means I can, but I have to tank damage. I don't like that, the idea of tanking damage. Because if I don't have any other card, I just lose. I'm just gonna take the other. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through the thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists. Yes. Yes. And we are performing our experiments far from the grove. We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock. Yes. We will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. I don't know if I have two of them. Oh, I have two. Oh, I'm scared. I am scared, but sure, let's go. I need to learn what it does. I think this could get messy. Look away. Uh, gross, gross. Ooh, it combines them. The wolf, is it now one? I'm gonna hit for 12 damage now. If I set the wolf in the middle, it's gonna six in each side. That's so powerful. I like that. I was scared, but I needed to learn. Okay, and it's against our boy. The You beheld an immense man slouched beside a mucky pond. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond, where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up. And some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. Ugh. You bring fresh fish? Easy choose. Okay. Okay, let's go. Um, it's a kingfisher already. I have to be careful where my cards are when they die, right? That's the thing. I do have the other on my hand. That means I can kill the great war sharks he, he brings to the table. I'm gonna set the smoke so I get a few extra bones. Mmm, stale fish. Hard to choose. Oh, shit. That's bad. I should set down the score like they said. Take new fish. Easy. So is he going to bring one of my cards to him? Okay, now there's gonna be a great war great war charge. Yes, a great war charge on, on every single one. That I have a card. Okay. Okay, so the smoke is not a good play against him. Good to know. Um, 
I'm gonna summon a great white shark there, so... I should sacrifice... Oh, okay, I have to draw a card first. That is indeed problematic. That is very, very problematic. Because he's gonna summon a Great White, and the Great White is so powerful. Flargan is gonna come back to my hand, it's fine. But everything else, no. Great White has only two attack though. Okay, so it has, okay, I can survive. Flargan is good enough, okay. Oh, but they go underwater. I need to finish this now. Okay, just to defend myself against the damage, I don't have enough to put the thing. Um, can I just use the fish? There's nothing that can be hooked. I'm gonna do this. In case I, I can defeat them. Because now I can set down Flargan and uh, whatever else. The wolf. Is that enough? That's enough, okay. Whew. That actually scared me. I got the wolf a little late there, but it's okay. You will not perish quite yet. Okay, give me my reward. What do you have for me today, bro? Um, mole Man? The stalwart Mole Man. The ultimate defense. Oh, he has every single defense, I see. Really? And Orobot. I'm gonna grab Oro because fully back now problem. Okay. Welcome back. Moving past the pond, you took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. We will need another map. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave you a gave way to a bone shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had to climb. You have climbed to the sh snow line. Um, I do have great cards already, though. Um, let's see what is this. Cause oh, this is another thing. Um, no bone. The trial of the kin. Two of the three cards must be kin to pass. Uh, trial of Wisdom. I think this is the best one. No, because I, my two wolf cards are already done things. I have to go with the Wisdom. Okay. Okay. Two from the Cockroach. Zero from the Wolf. One from the Bullfrog. You have passed the try. Ooh. Coyote. Mantis. Deadly Mantis. Ringworm with... That gets better as the time passes by. What is that? When an end card, when a card bearing the sigil is played, an end is created in your hand. That is a deadly mantis, right? And this, a card will grow into a more. I think the ringworm, right? I already have too many bifurcating attackers. I don't want to commit to the Mantis. And let me make cards more powerful now. If I can give health to that Ringworm. Yes! Can I give health to the Ringworm? Where is the Ringworm? So I can assure it survives when it's placed. Nice. Okay, I'm, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Understanding why I did that. I don't have two cards. By the way, I... I um, mangled two of my wolves together, um, Succubus. Now there are just one wolf, there are not two. Ringworm could be the song. Um, Ouroboros Auto Win. Why is Ouroboros Auto Win? Because I got Ouroboros and I don't really know what, how it's powerful. How do I make it more powerful? Um, I'm, I haven't seen the road. Ringworm stronger form. I see. Um, they're stinky. Okay, Raven Egg and Elk Fawn. 
Um, Plargan... Um, Plargan is gonna do you dirty against the Elk. And let's go. Um, why is Oroboto so strong? What is the strength of Oro? It's gonna become Ravens, right? Also, if you go to the dupe place without a dupe, it will give you a dupe card. Oh, that's fun. Every time Odo dies, it becomes stronger. That's problematic. I think I can win on this one already. Yeah, I think I can win. Nice. Flargan is pretty good right now. Because Flargan is tanky and Flargan has decent stats, decent attack. Okay, let's go to the Trapper. Because I do have a lot of um, two fees. Me belts are clean. 11. Have a free one. Thank you. I am going to grab a golden pelt because last time it was so good. And wolf pelt. And pelt. Thanks for your patronage. Um, every time Odo dies. But it's very expensive. Like to play Odo. Because it, it needs two sacrifices. If I had a gold, for example, or something like that. Did you bring us two of the same? We would like to experiment. Oh. Should I? Um, should I do this, Succubus? Should I join two rabbit pelts together? I don't think I have a choice. Oh, I can play around with mushrooms. I mean, I don't have a choice, so yeah, I can't, I can't go back. I, I'm pressing S and nothing happens, so I don't have a choice. You may want to avert your eyes. Rabbit pelt, two health. You now have but one rabbit tail. Is it stronger? I don't know. I think that's worse. Aw, oh, man. When you have an undying squirrel totem, it'll be very cheap to spam Oro. I see. Okay, elk fawns, sure. My rabbit belt. Oh, ringworm already. Okay, so set it down. Ringworm can take one of the hits from the elk. So you're gonna be there. And I wanna see you get stronger. Rabbit? Rabbit. Uh, really? It's a 1-4 card. It's just a tanky card. Um, I need Squirrel, though. Okay. Oh, this might be bad. Yep, I am dead. Oh, well. I don't think... I don't think it makes a difference, but you get a special interaction with the Trapper. 13, 13 at the end of Act 1. Jesus Christ. Okay. The Trial of Health. Draw three cards. The Trial of Kin. And the Trial of Power. I'm gonna grab the Power. So it's crazy strong if you know how to play it. Okay, I'll try my best. Really? Come on, again! Again with the fucking... Oh. Man, let's go sacrifice some stuff then. Um, I should give the power of the adder to someone else because the adder is very expensive. Uh, Bullfrog, Rattler. Yeah, Bullfrog. Let's go. It's the second time that happens that, that I go for the trial of power and it's like one damage away because one of the cards is a belt. 
squirrel. Ooh, there, there's my powerful cockroach right now. Um, Bullfrog with the power of thousand suns. Okay, I might die here again. I didn't get to the the the. Yeah, it might kill them. Um, I didn't get to to do the thing. Yet. Again, man, I am not getting good draws. I'm gonna use my hook. I need my hook. Otherwise, I'm gonna perish here. Yeah, I, I can feel that. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm not getting any good... Um, things another cockroach they're gonna have two of them sure i need to set the squirrel down to mitigate the damage until something else happens that is pretty bad you got out of the way okay is that enough i need to draw a card first uh Ringworm, now, wonderful. Okay, cockroach, don't fail me now, please. Okay, that's good damage. And now it's gonna block the way, it's fine. Should I? Stoat. Yeah, Stolt might be the way here. Okay, Elk Fallen and whatever that is. Cockroach come back, comes back to my hand. My things die and I take one damage. Thanks, Twitch, for telling me about the McDonald's creepy <laughs> set. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> bad play. You're a bad play. Okay, Stoat. You do you. This might be bad. Okay, okay, okay. Just be calm. Just be calm. Okay, Squirrel. I think this might be enough, because then I can sacrifice it for the ringworm, the ringworm can take another damage and then I have enough to play the cockroach. Is that enough? It's enough to turn the tables. And then the cockroach comes back to my hand. Wolf belt, wonderful. Okay, that was enough. Jesus, it's getting very hard right now. It's getting very, very hard. I wonder what's the boss in this area. Six ads. I'm sorry about that. Pronghorn. Yeah, I'm in dire need of some some change here. Okay, health. <laughs> the rattler with three three would be nice. Cockroach with yeah, I need more health for the cockroach. Yeah, more health on the cockroach. getting hard this is getting hard okay now it's time to face the the boss of the freeze okay <clears throat> a man stood before you a man you recognize immediately he was the trapper trapper you reached out to examine his wares but he stopped you 
Star Sorry, but today you supply the belt. What are my thoughts on the game by now? It's amazing! Like, the amount of atmosphere this game has, the amount of lore that's going around already, the gameplay is fun, the visuals are awesome, there's like a, a sense of dread. It's so good! Strange frog. The soundtrack is amazing too, look at this song. Leaping trap. Okay. Okay, that's probably bad for Flargon. Okay, ringworm. You go there. At least it's gonna kill the bullfrog, right? No, it's gonna deal one damage to the bullfrog. Nice, I wanted to see your your reaction on where the game is going. Sure. Oh uh, shoot. Please give me something good. The wolf! Nice! I'll hold on for a bit, because I don't know what they do. Okay, the trap, yeah, I expected that. The trap is gonna kill my card. Yeah, okay. The ringworm at least tanks a little bit. Um, okay, it's gonna kill that, right? I missed the trapper review. No! <laughs> I hope it wins at least one prize at the Game Awards. I do too, Willow. This is so fun. Okay, Flargon, you go back out there. Okay, Cockroach are gonna be my, my main gun here. It's gonna kill it? Oh, it's, it kills that card. That's interesting. And I get a wolf pelt for it. It's flooding my hands with pelts though. At least the Elder Ringer Worm just get um, thing out of the way. And now there's an Adder. Adder attacks directly, I don't really mind. Okay, I need a squirrel to summon my, my, my wolf. Okay, I think I can wait another turn. For this, I can just put Flargon down. Yeah, Flargon go down. I have too many pelts. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna set the, down the wolf at the right moment, cause I'm afraid if I set down the wolf when I'm I'm being done, I might get destroyed. Cause the, the the traps do kill it. I don't know understand how the traps work well yet. So I'm just gonna play safe for now. Okay, that's a lot of murderage. One of the hells. There we go. There we go. Okay. What are you gonna do? Exquisite belts, but the cycle must continue. Whoa. Let's straight. Oh, so it's the same person. Wait, what is happening? What is happening? I'm confused. What is happening? Power for cards. I will accept only the finest belts for them. Oh. Trade for what you can, but know this the Rels will stay and fight for me. Okay. Um, first of all, I need the Grizzlies. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, Bloodhound. I would have chosen differently. Uh, okay, so they come to my hand. Take bottom row and one turn kill. Or try to play it out. Um, okay, focus, 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 focus. I do have two squirrels, so I can set down my my wolf and the hound if I want to.
Okay, I do have six damage. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. Okay, let me think this through. Okay, okay, I know what I do. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, first of all, Bloodhound gets this and this. And Bloodhound is gonna go there. And then I'm gonna use the, the power of the wolf. If I set the wolf here, he's gonna do a direct attack. Right here. If I do this, it's gonna be a direct attack, so he's gonna die, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. I did it. I did it. I did it. I, I'm sorry if I went silent there for a, for a minute or two, because I really needed to think about what is going. Whew. Reignite. I got uh, an achievement face to face. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Mold man, Chayo 13, Long Elk. I'll take Chayo 13 because it's very reliable. Oh, sorry. You could see the light in the distance. I, I can try to read it on the side thing. It's okay though. It's fine. The end is near. The end is near already? A moment. Jesus Christ, already? I'm already at the end. Um, I don't know what to do. I, I don't have any items, so I'm gonna go with items. I'd have cheese by taking bottom rope and OT king. I don't know what that means. Sacrifice goat, please. A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Oh, that's actually pretty good. A gust from this may lift your creatures to the air only for a turn. If I have that and the wolf, GG. Um, oh no, you can't use that. I'm gonna take the goat. Because now I have a sacrifice. Oh, one turn kill. I see. I just didn't know how they worked, so I wanted to be a little more scared. Uh, I wanted to be careful. Your eyes affixed themselves on the small cabin. It warm. Ooh, is this cabin the cabin that we are in? It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Ooh, I'm sorry. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. Story item. Uh, I, I think I wanted to, um, to understand the game first. I can progress the story later. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's, I, I, I think it is. The cabin is where we are. What is that? Ooh, creepy. It steps away from the strange cabin you were presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons just to any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. The Trial of the Find. The three drawn cards must include a card with the Waterborne sigil. The Trial of the Skins. The three drawn cards must include a pelt card. The trial of the rarity. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. I'm pretty sure the pelts because I'm go I draw pelts all the time. Of course I don't draw a pelt this time. The one time I don't draw a pelt. Failure. We will repeat that once more. The trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the sigil. Airborne, the trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Um, I don't have any airborne, so this is literally my only chance. And now I draw a pelt. And now I draw two pelts. Really? 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 Come on. I'm unlucky. Ooh, that gave me shoes. You didn't get any boons? This won't even be a challenge.
Yeah, I am unlucky person, Succubus. Just get used to it. <laughs> Oh, hello there. You took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? Sure. I hope you are adequately prepared. <laughs> Smoke. Perhaps one more to be safe. Fuck off, man. And you're gonna be holding it. Oh, the moon is pretty cool. A uh, mole man. A maulum. I like the song already. I'm gonna use one of my uh, emergency goats already. And do this. And then do this. I'm pretty sure that's a surefire way of at least doing a thing. Yeah, I love the music, though. Okay, that's one. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but a true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. I remembered that one fondly. set down the smoke so they can attack it. I'm gonna set down the squirrel and the bullfrog. I'm pretty sure that's the second life already. My wolf is pretty powerful. That damn moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. I wonder Now that is value. I'm literally attacking the moon? He fucking turned the moon into a card? 40 HP? What is this? Moon strike. A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. destroyed the moon did I oh yeah my frog has the power of the thing you can actually use the stink sigil to make the moon do no damage <laughs> that's funny I suppose all that's left to finish me off go on That's it, right? So he's Thanos throwing moons at you. <laughs> did I win? And during victory, I got the achievement. Oh my, did I just, I think I just beat him. Yeah, I did. Whoop. Wait, what? I didn't see that. What happened? My frog literally just poisoned the moon. Cam currents. My computer is struggling. Wait, what? Beat the game? I beat the game! Yay! In one run! I mean, not one run, but one sit down in three hours and 20 minutes. Um, my computer is struggling a little bit, but sure, let's see. Should I be looking at these? Cool. 
Wait, what? Hey there card gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter and this is another pack opening video. Today I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, and our first rare is a Urchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right, next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay, let's see what we got here. What Some is happening here? Jank cards, maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is Bam Dog. Not exactly riveting so far, but we have many packs. Next pack, here we come! I'll just cut out this part. What happened? Am I missing something? Okay, that's... you. It's a, an American um, way of looking at things. So, um, September 15th, September 15th. This one is February 10th. No, October 2nd. Jesus Christ, you're, you guys do everything backwards. Yeah, this is going to be three. So they're in order. In, they are in order. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks, so fingers crossed. I mean, you guys do measure stuff in feet. Really cool art on Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Cool looking card, but not going to be worth very much. All right, let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Huh, uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. Who opens and reseals a pack? Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. You should definitely go there. There's no way anything is gonna bad is gonna happen. Uh, I think. I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. So this is the lore. I mean, you definitely should go to the place where a random ass card told you. You definitely should that. That's not gonna go wrong with the ginormous error that's going on here. I'm sorry that the game is freezing down, guys, but it's not even the game that's freezing. I, I still have like um, 25 FPS up here, but. Um, it's tr my computer is struggling right now, but hopefully, hopefully it's not too distracting. Um, okay, ten thirty or um October third. All right, you guys, I'm out here. Bless life from my uh, headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared. Whew. 
I think, assuming that to get close to, this very well may be a massive waste of Well, he fucked. He did. He just did. He, he's not alive. He's alive. Wonderful. You guys want to see that one more time? I love Crypto Horror. I did like like um the Fire Witch project project. I can't even words. Alright. This is it. And now Is it to give a cool to be freezing like this, or is it just my computer giving up? 5% chance. But! Yeah, it's my computer giving me up. Oh my god. God, you guys. There's something here. Wow, it's floppy disk. It's a thing that we haven't seen for 20 years. Guys, are you seeing this? I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. I am, but how are you so... Um, I'm pretty sure we don't have anything about that anymore. How do you plan on like that? I don't think anything else that runs floppy disks. Yeah, exactly, that's my point. Wow, great video. <laughs> I have no doubt if I found a random floppy disk from card coordinates. Yeah. Dude literally bought a fucking up this um watcher thing. Oh, and it's this game. That's fun. That's fun. I like that. I'm in the game inside a game inside a game. Ah, oh, that's interesting. That's how the game works. That's fun. Um, stop browsing footage. Yeah, is that everything that's here? From that? <clears throat> Wait, what? Am I supposed to be doing something? I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, you are worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. What is that? Is there something, something your pies awaits? Very well. Come with me. Okay, so the lore of the game is that we are actually the person outside of the game that is watching the game from a floppy disk that we find from a card. Crazy, 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 crazy. Flash cake, let's go. Flash cake! Oh. 
It's it's fun that I can see. Wait a minute. Are you? Okay, 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 okay. Random, random, um, just like dropping facts out here. You guys don't need to tell me if I'm wrong or right. I'm just gonna type theorizing. Is the guy that we just saw on the floppy disk, did they play the game, they go crazy or whatever happened to him, and now this guy right here, this dude, is actually that dude. That was the collector, but now he's trying to bring more people into the game for whatever reason. Just dropping my theories right here, right out of the gate. Please do not be foolish. There is no film in there. I will need that. I don't like your hands. You, challenger, are a champion, and I wish to commemorate your victory. Please inscribe your name. My name is Dumpus. Dumpus. Shh, do not despair. You are a winner. How is this game not over yet?